guitar building family, as you can hear, I've got a finished guitar that is somewhat in tune and playable. How cool is that? Um, so just an overview of sort of the last day I worked on this all day. I had to pick up, um, I wanted to treat the neck and get that all set up. I had gone through and leveled out the frets and sort of followed protocol for that, sanding the edges, uh, making sure it was even and getting all that done. Um, but this morning I went and picked up um, some, I actually ended up using mineral oil because I could not for the life of me find the other product that was suggested, the um, paint remover, could not find it. So I ended up getting just some mineral oil and um, the other recommended wax product to get on the neck. And that's how I started my day today and I've been working on it, it's about 7 p.m. I've been working at this literally all day and I didn't even know it was 7. <laughs> so um, I did that and the next thing was really getting the strings on and making sure all the components were installed for that. So I got the strings on. Um, that was actually pretty easy for me. Um, I've played guitar a little bit. I actually haven't ever replaced strings. So that was super great because I have an acoustic guitar and I was always afraid of breaking them. And now I'm not that afraid anymore, uh, which was just awesome because now I feel like I can do it on that guitar. I can do it on this guitar. Granted, it's going to be a little different, but a little YouTube, we'll be able to get it done. Um, yeah, so I had to add these components here, um, down here, which I am terrible at names. So those two guys were added on. Um, I will try to remember that in the future, but on the whammy bar, just because why not, right? Um, I'm still, I lost this little guy somewhere in this room here. I've been working on my guest room. I don't have a tool shop or anything at home. Um, I did have a lot of, some handy things. Props to my friend, uh, B slash Jane. We play roller derby together. Her roller derby name's B. Um, and she loaned me some tools so that I could actually get this done. Um, other than that, I went through and I sanded the top of this fret area up here. I made sure that the string guy down here, this was all level and then I'm getting the same um, note and it's not sharp or anything on here and on my 12th fret. Um, so I went through and made sure I did that. Added my guitar strap on because yeah, everybody wants one. Um, and I realized, no wonder why I like these colors. <laughs> this is one of my favorite picks um, that I use on my acoustic guitar. And again, I can't really play a lot, but um, I love this pick. And <laughs> Dude, if I wasn't inspired by this pick, I don't know what I was inspired by. It's just so funny. It's clear that my, my color preferences are <laughs> exactly what's on this pick which was a good surprise. Um, all in all, this was an awesome experience. I, uh, one other thing I did, I coated this guitar all with the final product. A few other things, um, I used this crazy just varnish for canvases as a coating. I think I talked about it before, but this is it. Um, so I just used this color pour prism varnish, which is kind of sparkly. It's got some sparkles to it. Um, that's what I used to actually coat the pick guard. So it's got some sparkles on it. It actually sort of, moved around the colors a little bit just because you know it wasn't perfect and there's a few spots i kind of want to go over and finish but this ended up working decently as just like a impromptu finish i was going to actually go and buy some mod podge but i saw this and thought well we'll try it see what happens it kind of worked um did the trick anyways for what i wanted to do for a final coat to really get this it's a little sticky but you know a little tactile that's all right to me um, hopefully it'll stay on, and if not, I'll have to coat it with something else. Uh, to keep this, this movie going, this video going, I don't really have much more to say. My amp's over here, everything's plugged in, tuned the crud out of this thing. Um, and it was just so cool to build a guitar. I, uh, posted a social media video earlier about how excited I was. Um, I'm hoping to bring this to my job and make this a thing because it was just so amazing. You learn so much math, science, 
terminology I don't remember. <laughs> That's just my short-term memory. Uh, every time, you know, they say it takes three times to learn to do anything, so I'm sure once I build a guitar three times, I'll, I'll actually know what I'm talking about. Um, thank you so much to stemguitar.org. Again, to my friend Jane for loaning me tools. This was just an incredible experience, a whirlwind. Um, I'm really happy I was able to get it done. Thanks. Thank you.